We're going to obey God and I'll tell you something else we're going to do today. The Holy Spirit is going to solve all your problems today. Amen. We didn't expect that coming to church, did you? We're just going to clap our hands. You know, we're going to sing some songs. <laughs>
can show you two in the Word, where it says, establish your work in the field and then build your house. The work in the field has been established. It's been established. It's been established even more. So let's, let's go over here to the book of Ephesians. I'm going to start in the book of Ephesians because, as I said before, some things are revealed for such a time as this. For such a time as there are some revelations that the Apostle Paul gave that are coming to maturity now. That are coming to the place where, oh my God, look at what that can produce. Look at what we can do here. Look at what we can do in this situation. But what I'm going to as, as I begin to open, the Holy Spirit is going to be able to show you how you can begin to put this stuff in motion. Let's start over here. Father God in heaven, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you for today, Lord. We ask you to cause the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of you to be manifested. As you read your word, hear your word, teach your word, preach your word, live your word, meditate your word. Father, cause the eyes of our understanding to be enlightened, that we may know you more intimately. Help us to walk worthy of you unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of you. Help us to walk by faith and not by sight. To walk in your word. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. The book of Ephesians chapter 2. Book of Ephesians chapter 2. Look at verse 4. It says, But God who is rich in mercy, for his great love, when he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, has quickened us together with Christ. By grace are you saved. And has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Saints, there need to be a demonstration and an action or some kind of evidence or some kind of manifestation of that verse of scripture. He didn't just say we were seated together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus and then, uh, well, you know, we we'll just get to sit here. It has no real effect in our lives and shows no difference in our lives. No, it's an active part of our, who we are and what we're all about. We are seated together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. In the book of John, it says, as he is, so are we in this world. We are his representative. So then there should be something in your life, somewhere that gives evidence to that. The Bible says we are ambassadors for Christ. I never forget what people, somebody said one time. They said, well, you know, some people say we're going to go through the tribulation, and some people say that, you know, it's going to be terrible, it's going to be hard, and persecution. But well, I said, okay, well, the Bible said we're ambassadors for Christ, right? What happens an ambassador in another country when war begins to break out? What do they do? They call the ambassador home. So they're going to be going through the tribulation. They're going to need to join another group. Because I don't know what's going on. We out of here in the first level. Out. Somebody said, well, but what you gonna do when you get up there? Like Jesse said, we're gonna keep your food warm, we're gonna never keep your brains out there. <laughs> no, no. And the man said, well, let's not know how we out there. We we move out to this stuff. Happen. You need to come in. You need to, you need to be a part of When someone in Trump sounds, we're out of here. But guess what? All as ambassadors, all of our sustenance, all of our needs, everything comes from a different place. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things will be handled. We don't look to this earth, so we don't have needs. I mean, the things that God has given this church have become supernatural. We can to know or see or guess where it came from. Because it doesn't really come from here. Look at what he said here. He says, And has raised us up together, made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. In other words, in these ages, in this church age, the reason that we're sitting together in heavenly places, guess what, guess what, guess what, 
this part. He could have cut this thing short as soon as Jesus died on the cross, rose again from the dead. He could have said, okay, whoever received Jesus, you want it? Okay, fine. You don't? Okay, help. But he's not short of power. He's not short of mercy. Somebody said, every child born is a promise of God for the future. It shows his mercy. I mean, people out here molesting children out there, killing and shooting and raping and doing all kinds of stuff, but the children still get born. He has the power to raise somebody from the dead necessary. So his main thrust is to you see his loving kindness. His main thrust, as I said, is that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace. Show you just how good he can be. Just how loving he can be. Just how powerful he can be. On your behalf. He'll use all this power on your behalf. He's willing to do that. But you gotta have a relationship. You gotta understand how these things. And that's what he sent the Holy Spirit to do, to teach us how God thinks. Well, Pastor, can you show me that in the Bible? Oh, of course I can. The book of John said, when the Holy Spirit comes, he will be the God is all the He will show us things to come. He's right here to teach you, but we got to give us the time. we got to give us some attention. We, he has to be the We're going to talk about a secret place today. You know what a secret place is? Be my 
not to mess with that guy. <laughs> I'm gonna pay you to leave him alone because this is your best interest. But on the other hand, if you bless him, watch out, man, my God, God gonna get all you gonna be grinning like a chest cat in a fish fry. Because <laughs> God got some good stuff for you. Okay? He said, he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. This guy's got a conversation with God. Look at this conversation. I will say the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God and him will I trust. Surely he not maybe, not possibility, but surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fire. He can count on God to get him out. He's the only one in the room that's not scared of 9 11. <laughs> He's the only one in the same place of the most high. He says, He shall cover thee with his feathers, he should, with, with his feathers, and under his wing shall he trust. His truth shall be the shield and buckle. You shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the hour that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness. Nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. He said, A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come by me. I love that kind of talk because it says in the book of uh, Proverbs, he said, Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. <laughs> <laughs> they can be all up in your face. Show sure, they can be all up in your face. But when God gets ready to execute judgment, the lightning will just be sweet. <laughs> Though he do it in hand, the wicked shall not. He got the name. But this is for the folks that dwells in the secret place of the most high. Okay, now look at what he's saying. And he says, and uh, uh, only with your eyes shall you behold. And see the reward of the wicked. Man, you know I'm going to be in this Bible all the time. You know that's my fuel. You know that's where I'm going to spend the bulk of my time and the bulk of my meditation thinking about this kind of stuff. Okay? He says here, he says, because you have made the Lord, which is your refuge, the most high, your what? Your habitation. Your this where you live. That's what you ascribe to. That's what you long for. He says, uh, you have, there, there shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come down you now your dwelling. You know what happened now in COVID? Now, that person in this church got COVID. Not one. Because I'm not glad to you. Y'all don't think I'm going to y'all know about this? Uh -uh. I'm going to stand in your last nerve. Get in the word. Seek God with your whole heart. Because there's a reward in this stuff. There is a covering and an anointing and a living thing about the word that lies in your spirit when you do it. And this is the result. You know about who can bro? They don't ask me whether or not you want to do something. <laughs> they don't suggest nothing. They get ready to pass out uniform. Lodge is small, next!
But Jesus wants to do this so you can walk in the holiness, the righteousness, goodness, and the blessings of God. That's what it is. Okay, and you know what? It's going to hit your life. You know what's going to happen there? Young Get 
in tomorrow's newspaper. Leroy, you ain't been done about nothing. <laughs> they can't tell about you in the bad news. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. How did you know that?
children and it cannot save. Let the word be first place. You know what he says? Look at what he said. That your 
back and your children in the land when the Lord swear to your fathers to give them as the days of heaven upon the earth. Now when you put this stuff in your heart, he says, stuff don't stop getting better. He says, you'll be satisfied. And then he says, as the days of heaven upon the earth, when you put in the word of God in your heart, do you know what you're going to do? You know what you're going to do? You put in the substance that will cause faith. And faith is the victory that overcomes the world. You begin to realize and receive things and begin to get answers to life's issues and life's problems as you go along. You're putting your future into your heart. Can you get that? As the days of heaven upon the earth, like I said before, Jesus even prayed it. He says, Your will be on earth as it will be. But you got to put the stuff in your heart. If you want, you, if you want more from God, put more word in your heart. If you want a whole lot more help and strength, put more word in your heart. If you want more peace of mind, put more word. It's like you are here now. And you're doing what you do. But you want this and you want that. Oh, well, I love it by this, I love it by that. Well, they got a place over here to keep 40 hours a week. <laughs> but you can get anything you want. And many enough, you can go to school and learn some more and put in a few more hours. I like what somebody said one time. Work hard, work and get what you need. Work harder and get what you want. That's the same principles in the world. I believe next year what we're going to do, we're going to have a series called this is what was put into my life. We were given six principles to obtain strong faith. As the more faith you have, the more things you can acquire. The more God you can know. The more peace you know. You don't want to miss the series. Six principles to obtain strong faith. That is based, first of all, on the intake in the world. I remember that when I began to study, I studied 18 hours a day. I slept six hours. I studied this thing for, for three months, 18 hours a day. But boy, when I came out, folks would get healed. Jobs would come in all kinds of stuff. There's peace all over the place. Answers the questions. Because that word is alive. He says right here, he said that you could be the days of heaven upon the earth. Can I share something with you? Your spirit man, your spirit man is a factory. Your spirit man is something on the inside of you that reproduces what the Word of God says when you put in it what the Word of God says. Oh, you never heard that, did you? Yeah. When you begin to study on healing, healing comes. When you begin to study on prosperity, it begins to kiss for to come. When you put in your word about peace, peace begins to be manifested. Can I share with you how this is? Go to the book of Romans. Romans chapter 10. The book of Romans chapter 10. The secret is God don't change up on folks. The Bible says he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's the same. He don't change. Romans chapter 10. And uh, look at verse 7. Actually verse 6. He said, but the righteousness which is a faith speaks on this wise. Say not in your heart, who shall ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down from above. Or who shall descend into the deep? Or that is to bring up Christ again from the dead. But what says that the word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart, that is the word of faith that we preach. He said that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. He didn't say maybe. He didn't say again. He said you shall. But do you notice what happened?
in your heart, put it in your heart, in your eyes, when you walk by the way, when you lay down, when you rise up, all of a sudden, what happened then? The days of heaven upon the earth. When you begin to hear about salvation, it began to occur. Look what he said. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. When you get it up in your heart, and all of a sudden, you begin to confess it with your mouth. Oh, there's a supernatural change that occurred. That's the same thing he told them to do right now. Do you know what he says that he solved their problems? He said, oh, you have to just put another word in your heart. That's all you got to do. You want to see this in action? As far as the uh, as healing is concerned, go to Romans uh, Pro 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 chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4. <laughs> he said, all right, now. I don't know if y'all, maybe y'all not worried about nothing. You know, everything's cool. You know, maybe 20 years from now, something happened, you won't, you won't touch it. It shouldn't be if you don't want to talk about today. But since what I'm talking about is be prepared. I'm talking about we don't know who the next virus is. But that's a funny place. We don't know if that was intentionally done to China when they released COVID. We don't know that.
Be diligent. He says, for out of the heart flows the issues of life. When you put it in your heart, eyes, when you put it in your ears, when you put it in your heart, he says, I keep that heart with all diligence. Keep it full of what God in your eyes. And you walk by the way, you made up your eyes and talk. This is always in your heart. He said, for out of the heart of the issues. Another translation said, are the voices of life. That's the voice that gets it done. But baby doll, if your tank is empty, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they'll stuck on the side of it, they'll roll. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was about to leave. <laughs> you got to have this done in your heart all the time. <laughs> Whenever we get finished here, I got to unload on you guys and empty out my tank. You know what I do? I put the tank on, I put that word right back in my heart, I go back to the word, I read for it.
Saints, you just walked into some abundant stuff up in here. I don't know what you thought when you was coming here, but we're going to give you some stuff that's going to change you up. And it's going to turn your world upside down. Just keep coming. Keep feeding. Keep feeding. Keep feeding. Let me grow. Keep putting that supernatural fertilizer in the Word of God on that stuff. Yeah. It's going to work. My God. I hope you guys got what you can't put it Yes. Look at that. Amen. 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 
Jesus to be the important savior. If you want to be saved, don't worry about doing it right and making mistakes. He will live his life through you. He'll do it with you. He'll do it with you. If you want to be saved,